Ta da! People really don't care, do they? Really. They're probably used to seeing it. I did just pick up four of those scrolls at once. It can't exactly be uncommon. Oh! Sorry, I, I was trying to get in as you were coming out. Oh, Magister Rig, I was supposed to talk to you some, for some reason. I don't exactly know why. Walk blessed. Is, is there some kind of problem? I, I just had a feeling. Oh, yes. Guess what? There is. Some people just don't get the meaning of the word reliability. Uh, uh, what are you talking about? Maybe I can help. I know the meaning of the word reliable. Yeah, I'm quite a reliable person, if I do say so myself. Huh. You're not from the Order, are you? I might not Then be. I wonder what the blazes you're doing here. Yeah, but, sense. fine. Who am I to reject a helping hand? Elia, the novice who was assigned to me. She's supposed to help me transcribe these Pyrian tomes the Grand Master is so obsessed about. But two days ago, she simply vanished. If I were to guess, I'd say she's strolling around enjoying herself somewhere in the nobles' quarter. I'd go look myself, but I'm lucky if I get to breathe within all this work. Go find her and tell her to get her bloody ass up here and help oh. me. If you do that, it won't be to your disadvantage. Okay, I can... I can see about doing that for you. And if you put in a good word with me to the order, I guess more regular what? work. Oh, sorry, yeah. Asking too soon. I'll ask you after I've found Blazes, your I novice. Just can't bloody believe it. Uh, Constantine? Oh, I've taken a wrong turn somewhere. Constantine. Constantine. Oh. Now, if it isn't the prodigy, well. Uh, Lashari performed the ritual on me. There were there were a lot of problems in old Russian grads. Part of it was the ritual. Yes, I know. She's already told me everything. She Good has. Good work. Even though part of her report seemed to be a bit enthusiastic. But I'll leave the judgment to Aranthiel. He wants to talk to you anyway. Seems you've caught his interest. I... Well, this is going a very quickly, but... I know who Aranthiel is, so I'm not going to bother asking. I'm not sure if I want to be a part of all this. Whatever it is you're searching for. I... I'm not sure I do want to be part of this. This is all going very quickly for my liking. Oh yes? Well then listen carefully. Lucy probably hasn't told you, but the ritual Lucy. was as dangerous for her as it was for you. In other words, she and all of us have risked a lot for your healing. Oh. Also, she seems to see something special in you. Heck knows why, but she does. So at least have the decency to listen to what Aranthiel wants to tell you. He is in the Emporium of the Temple. Just tell the guard who you are, and they will let you in. Oh. Ah, yes. Before I forget, my dame Lucy has left a token of gratitude for you. It's your choice. Do you want a book, an old map, or a bag of pennies? Oh, well... I... Give me the book. I'll, I'll take the book. Very well. Now get a move on. I'm sure we'll talk again later. I have a feeling we will. I don't seem to get a lot of choice in a matter, but if Lucy, as you've been calling her, was in as much danger as I was in that ritual, I think I owe it to her. You made quite a mess in that. I oh, sorry, I didn't mean to close myself in that door. Hello? Oh, sorry, are you waiting for me to leave? Old Rancio, then. The Emporium. Where's the Emporium? Is that the Emporium? Is this the Emporium? Quarters. No, okay. I'm feeling I'll get yelled at if I walk across the grass. Hello? 
all the important. I'm supposed to tell the guard. Hello. Oh, hello. You're the companion of that mercenary, aren't you? Dalveric, or whatever his name is. I don't want to be disrespectful, but our time's so bad that the Order needs to resort to hiring mercenaries. I just don't know. I... I'm seen do pretty difficult. I wouldn't turn down help if... You know, if it's available. Uh, I'm just going to stroll on in here then, shall I? Uh... I imagine she's just tending the garden, but she doesn't half look lost. It is a suspicion, Tila. And to send an entire division across the sea because of a suspicion is madness. We need to find out who sent the mercenaries. This news travels fast. said that they were after the signet stone, and if they succeed in getting hold of it next time, then the Black Guardian alone knows how to stop the cycle. The cycle? Listening to you talk almost makes me forget that all this fuss here is merely based on some bad dreams you and your Neremese friends had. Oh, the threat is real. Deny it as much as you like, but deep inside, you feel it as much as I do. Teela, this... You're a commander, and a commander doesn't care about feelings, but about facts. You have made this mistake before, Teela, back then in Kira. Not and we all know... The mission will happen. I'm sorry. You have a visitor. I think I walked in at a bad moment, perhaps, but you must be... So, you are the prodigy everyone is talking about. Interesting. That's me. I am Teola Aranthia, son of Lorius I and Grandmaster of the Order. But I'm honored to meet you. What is your name? Uh, people just call me Fletch. Uh, I, son of who I'm, I think, uh, I'm getting distracted. You wanted to see me? Yes, and I will come straight to the point. You are here because I believe that you are special. Humanity faces a threat that needs to be stopped. And to achieve this, you are indispensable. You're... Talking about the Red Madness, are you? Among other things, yes. I do not need to explain to you that the present situation on Vin is chaotic. The wars, the living dead, common people who are losing their minds, to name only the most obvious. What most people are not aware of is the connection between these events. You, however, have encountered it, as have I. The... The visions! You're talking about the visions, so you know where they come from. I do. And I will explain everything to you. What it means, who we are, and what your part in all of this is. Come, follow me. Maybe you already know who I am. My entire life, I served the gods who ruled Vin. Until their death two years ago. What you probably do not know is that the one responsible for their death is my son, Narazul Aranthia. He hated the Lightborn because he believed that they robbed mankind of their right to freedom, so he strived to overthrow them. He found followers, formed an army and declared war on them, and thus on me, a servant of the Lightborn as well. It all ended in a battle thirty years ago which Narazul won. He killed every single survivor except for me, and locked me in a dungeon on Nerim. I still do not know why he spared me. Perhaps he was sentimental. But so the Lightborn really are dead, then, if you... If you, the Order of the Gods, acknowledge that fact, then why do... Why is Enderol so ignorant to that? Good question. Because at the moment, stability is the highest good. Even more so, considering what we are facing. The rulers of Kira and Kile both made the mistake to acknowledge the death of the gods to their people, and the civil wars that followed in their countries are evidence of the chaos that such a revelation entails. Enderal is the cradle of the Order of the Gods, the epitome of theocracy. It is unthinkable what would happen if we confirmed these rumors. I am sure you understand this. Maybe when all this is over, that will change. 
But for now, it is imperative that we deny all rumors of that kind. I kind of hoped that keepers would have a few more manners than to, you know, walk in front of people during conversation. But I get what you're saying. You know, if everything's gone to hell in Kira and Nerim, and Kire, then, you know, somewhere as religious and devoted as Enderol would be far worse. But if Nerisol was your son, why did he hate the gods so much? You know, I... This guy is distracting me. Will he have words? You're the grand... Uh, shouldn't he... I don't know. Shouldn't he have been more devoted to them like you are? Yes. After more than 30 years. When the death of the gods made the magic around the prison disappear. And during my escape in the northern mountains of Nerim, I also had them for the first time. The dreams. You mean the visions? I always saw the same glaring, terrible light. Heard screaming, and I felt like I was burning up from the inside. And above all, like a veil, there was the knowledge of imminence. At first, of course, I dismissed these dreams as the delusion of a man first. So I concentrated on making it through the mountains somehow. Two days after my escape, I was completely exhausted, and I would have died if a former acolyte of my son had not found me. An acolyte of your son? But weren't they your enemies? Yes, but he did not recognize me, and brought me to their headquarters instead, an old monastery in the mountains. The others were aware of my identity, but for whatever reason they did not kill me. Maybe because they thought that the death of the Lightborn had made me insignificant. I do not know. Still, even after my recovery, the dreams continued. At first, I doubted my sanity. But after some time, I told the leader of the mages, Constantine, about them. And he said something that I had never expected. I was not alone. He, as well as many others magically gifted on Vin, dreamed the same dreams. And the more you we talked about the matter, right. the stronger our suspicion grew, which has now turned out to be the truth. The dreams, they come from the same place. They are a shared memory. A shared memory? I mean, the dreams originate from, well, a common mind. A collective subconscious, yes. I know that you can feel it too, and probably far more intense than we do. But like you back then, we were not able to make sense of the images. So we went looking for answers in the remains of the civilization that was before us, the Pyrians. So the excavation like an old ration grad, and what did you find out? Three things. First, there were many civilizations before us and before You're not part of this conversation. Maybe hundreds, maybe thousands. Second, the history of each civilization unfolded and still unfolds according to a pattern. They emerge, they blossom, and at some point, at the apex of their existence, they simply disappear without any trace. And third, Everything that has happened in the past years, and which is still happening, indicates that this disappearance lies ahead of us. We are part of an eternal loop, a cycle, and our cycle is approaching its end. Its apex. Hundreds of prophets have predicted the end of the world and it never happened, but I admit that this world has seen brighter days. It's still a bit of a leap. What more could I have to ask? So there's a, a pattern? I mean, the chronicles of each civilization are identical. Not identical, but one can split them up into episodes which repeat themselves in the very same manner, into patterns. And this red madness and the wars, they're part of the pattern? Yes, dramatically put, they're the envoys of the end. Oh, I think I've got no choice but to help you if what you're saying is true. I'm not a fan of the end. I've escaped several ends on my way here. 
But... So you mean the end of humanity lies ahead? Yes, it does. At first we considered it absurd, as probably you do at this moment. To some extent. But there came a moment when we simply could not deny it anymore. We began to study the history of the Pyrians more intensely, and the parallels were extraordinary. In its early days, the Pyrian Empire was split up by a disaster, just like Vin was split up by the Starfall after the reign of the Eterna. Also, the Pyrians had a ruling caste who declared themselves gods after the catastrophe. The two castes of the Sun Priest. They too ruled until they were overthrown. This overthrowing was followed by an outbreak of wars and chaos. And then, just like that, the Pyrians ceased to exist. They knew it was imminent, but they could not prevent it. They called this event the Cleansing. The Pyrians knew about the threats. Then, did they try to do anything about it? They tried, but they failed. Who knows why? Maybe they found out too late, or maybe they were too weak. How in the blazes can an entire civilization just disappear? That is the question we need to find an answer to. The end was not violent, at least not in a sense as we know it. There was no natural disaster, no magical explosion, no plague. Even though there was war in the Pyrean Empire before its ruin, when the cleansing happened, it was as if all living beings simply fell down and died. It is ghastly. Um, but where do I come in? Where do these visions of my powers come from, this collective subconscious? Well, this is the reason why we need your help. Not only episodes of history recur within every cycle, characters do as well. Characters? Characters recur? Yes, the Pyrians call them the Emissaries. They emerge very shortly before the cleansing occurs, like a law of nature, an answer to the Red Madness. And I am one of them, as are you. While I take on the role of the ruler, you take on the role of the prophet. I'm supposed to be a prophet? It's just a description. Call it what you will. But without doubt, it is the truth. Your story matches the descriptions perfectly. So all these prophets in the past, they all unlock their magical potential suddenly. And strongly. I take it there's a reason well, this is the reason that the Neremese mages are here. Firespark, Pegast, and Sharim. I think I met a Sharim. Yes. Former enemies or not, both sides have understood the magnitude of the threat. The magical knowledge of Narazul's former mages is vast, as is the power of the Holy Order. Even though not all of the Keepers agree, as you probably have already noted yourself. That I have. Uh, and if I play a role, does that mean something is controlling us? No. As I already said, the emissaries simply appear at the beginning of the end. Like pieces on a chessboard. We are determined by our skills. How and to what end we use them is our choice. So being selected is predetermined almost, but what I do with it is not. But why me of all people? I... I had no skills. I do not know. Firespark the Mage has told me your story. And even though your fate is tragic, unlike me, you were insignificant before your change. As rude as that so is, maybe that is an untrue. We can become an emissary, or we simply have not understood the pattern yet. And what defines me as the prophet? On the one hand, your power. You carry the potential to master any skill within a fraction of the usual time needed. I assume you have already realized this. Absolutely, I have. On the other hand, your ability to look into the past, and therefore into the future. Into the past and therefore into the future? You mean observing the pattern and sort of predicting what's going to happen? Your visions are a window into the past. And as every cycle is based on the same events, it is a window into the future as well. 
You can feel the thread this world is woven with. And because of that, you can see things that have happened and thus will happen again. This gift makes you indispensable to us. And it is why I want your help. I say if all this doesn't interest me, but if it is true, then it sounds like I haven't got a choice but to help figure out this cycle. And But why do you think that we can overcome this cycle in the first place after hundreds of civilizations have failed? That is the wrong question. The correct question is, what alternative do we have? To wait and die? Fair enough. I mean, what, what is the point in delaying? It's either they're correct and the end of the world is upon us or they're wrong and it's not. And either way, it sounds like opportunities await. All right, if I can help, I will do so. Good. However, there's one more thing before the actual work begins. I want you to join our order and to do so, you have to pass a test, a trial. But... Is joining your order really necessary? It doesn't seem it. It is. Whatever you think about our story, we are the only faction that is strong enough to oppose the cycle. If you want to be part of our mission, you need to have access to our knowledge and resources. There will be voices in the order speaking against your admission, as they are speaking against the presence of the Neremi's mages. Consider it an honor or a necessity. It is up to you. Well, I consider it kind of both. It seems quite a privilege to be a part of the Order in Enderol, but I wouldn't have gone out of my way to join. But what is this test then? It is the trial the novices have to pass in order to be exalted to the role of a keeper. Only the best students of the Squala are allowed admission. And even though you have not been a novice, I want you to take it too. At this very moment, two novices are on their way to the testing grounds. I have informed them about your arrival. And... You've informed them already? How could you know I'd have agreed? I had a hunch. Let us leave it at that. Oh, the pattern. But, okay, who are these novices then? I'd like to get to know them if I'm... going to be taking this test with them. I have only a slight acquaintance with them. However, I know that they are both very talented and have been working hard toward the test. But see them for yourself. Okay. I have a feeling they might be a little bit resentful that an outsider has just been fast-tracked after they've worked for so long to become a keeper. Very well. Where can I find them? At the border to the heartland, near the Whisper Wood. They will be waiting for you there. Take the Myret. Talk to Signet Master Bartar and hand him this package. And then follow his orders. Ah, oh, one more thing. It might be self-evident, but keep your knowledge about the death of the Lightborn to yourself. I do not believe you can do any real harm. But in the worst case, path-abiding people will consider you a heretic. After the cycle has been stopped, we will deliberate upon how we deal with the matter. If and how we tell our people about it. But not now, that is for sure. Now, leave. The sooner we can dispense with this formality, the better. Part of something momentous. Well, that's certainly a lot to take in, but for now, let's get out of this rain. And... We're in a temple. Here seems like a good enough place as any to do a little bit of meditating. I'll be safe at the very least. And dry. Here we are, back in the place in between. Right, if I remember correctly, there was another memory if I do want to summon a phantasm. So we're going to do that. And then we're completely equipped to capture souls, turn them into talismans, and then summon them. And it 
it looks like this will also help me with enchanting, but I don't know if I want to go too deep down this tree. I I want to see what the phantasms are all about and just take it from there. Because I haven't really touched any of the dark arts for a little while now. I've just put them into this basmalist stuff. Right, well, this place isn't changing at all as I become more powerful. I just wondered if it might. The candles, there's just as many candles as there were. Who's lighting these candles? That's, that's a question for another time. Let's leave this place. And, well, it looks like some time has passed since I started meditating. It's not raining anymore. Oh, off the grass, I don't want to be yelled at. I do need to find a place to sleep. And at the moment, that just seems to be the nearest tavern, but... There was one in the Noble Quarter, wasn't there? I don't really fancy going back to the one in the Foreign Quarter with the holes in the walls and all the noise and the ruckus throughout the night. You don't mind if I take that, do you? Surely she doesn't. Yes. That's certainly a not a lot better of a view now that it's not pouring it down. I don't half jangle now in this outfit. Looking for a procurer of old things against fancy payment. That is what I like to hear. Visit me in my workshop in a noble's quarter near the bathhouse. Uri Dal Terovin. Heroin? Heroin. Okay. Maybe we'll check that out in the morning. But I need a good night's sleep. I need a stock up before I leave. Is he still at it? Oh, I'm sending the right way. Oh, sorry, sorry. He just... He's just performing for that one woman. Constantly. Yes. What? It's noisy, but mm -hmm. I shouldn't have expected any different. It's not quite archer. as disgusting. I wish I'd have crossed the Red Sea once, or seen Kira, the Grand Bazaar. Oh, well. Hello. Oh, well, indeed. Uh, I'm looking for a room. Well, then, you've come to the right place. The finest beds in the finest rooms in our finest tavern. I get it. It's what fine. What else could you wish for? Uh, a room. 50 pennies? Ah, oh, I could get one down in a... Look, you pay for quality, don't you? Use it to my ears. If you need anything else, drink some stew. Just let me know. I will do. Do come back. Right. Let's go find our room. At least it's high up. Is this us? Yes, I think it is. Oh, this is much nicer. This was money well spent. Right, now let's get a good nap. Good night's sleep. What time will the shops be open tomorrow? Let's say 11. We'll leave here about half nine. The prudent boy and the righteous path. Translated by Hal High Priest Adrian Dalvaric. Chespar's a Del uh, Dalvaric, isn't he? Nobody's looking. I gotta. Find 
Did you? Let's not make a habit of stealing, but those coins were left out carelessly. Uh, it's written by a D Dalvaric. I kind of want to read it just to see if there's anything that can be learned about Jaspar and his family. But Travark, there's just forbidden books out on display. They can't be that forbidden. Without the guard, just have better things to be dealing with than a couple of dusty tomes. Mm -hmm. Right, near the bathhouse, we're looking for this Yerai fellow. There's the bathhouse. Ah, Yerai's house. We're gonna be heading out to. Now, come on, just a little to the left and. Ugh! Oh! Blasted blazes! You are really, really starting to annoy me, you know that? Is this a bad time? <sighs> oh, now look at that. A visitor. Great. Just great. What do you want? Are you here because of the placard? If I could potentially be here because of the placards, then why are you being so aggressive? But I am. I am here because of the placards. Uh, you're looking for help with this? What? By the seven? No! Don't take it personal, but you really don't look as if you know much about Starling Craft. What I am looking for is an adventurer. Well, I'm not Someone taking that personally, I don't. Someone willing to take over a very important task for Horst and me. Horst? Yes, Horst. And no, he is not my imaginary friend, but this gorgeous example of Enderlean metallurgy and Starling ingeniousness right beside me. My personal centurion, and soon my new body. Yo, why am not following this machine? Horst is your new body. Yes, steel instead of flesh, energy instead of blood. Away with this useless shell and its pathetic fugacity. In Horst's body, I will live on forever. So you want to become this machine? Ah! wouldn't understand this even if you'd been my apprentice for 15 years. If it helps you, just imagine that I <clears throat> transfer my consciousness, my soul, into Horst's body. And by doing this, I become him. Apotheosis, that's what the scholars from Kyra call it. Man's Apotheosis. ascent to something higher. A deity, you could say. Oh no. The only logical response to current events, by the way. I... I don't think anything about this is logical, but what do you mean by apotheosis? Ah, red madness. Death of the Lightborn. You don't need to be one of those keepers to see something is happening in this world. It's going south, and other than the Holy Order and his new Nehemiah's magically gifted pals I am no friend of, trying to pray away such threats, we need to change humanity. The apotheosis, the overcoming of our fleshly nature, is the first step. <sighs> Unfortunately, I seem to be the only one who sees it that way. But hey, that's their choice. Well, it's not exactly a large-scale solution, and many people would doubt the, the humanity of doing such a thing, and probably call it heresy. But I see what you kind of want to do? What is it you need my help with? Oh, with this and that. Errands. Tasks your rough hands are better suited for than mine. But first, we need to find my assistant, Pathira. She's gone missing. Um, where did she go? I mean, if I was your assistant, I would have just escaped. Just left. Because I, I don't want anything to do with this endeavor, like a hand in creating your new body, but where did she go? Well, I suppose she took a flying unicorn to old Aranath. I oh, don't my know, words. sodded, else I wouldn't ask you for your help, would I? For his completion, Horst is asking something important. Some kind of steering unit, you might call it. Right. Um, Pathira and I have done research and found out that Dalmarak and his cohorts in Thalgard worked on a machine there that might employ a similar mechanism. 
Even though I had strongly spoken out in favor of an armed escort to send with her, Pathira had insisted on going alone. And surprise, I haven't heard from her since. So you do know where she's gone? You said that you didn't know where she was and then told me where she went. Ah, oh. Knowledge. Like, right. what is Thalgat? I imagine it's some kind of starling ruin. Something that makes it the ideal place to go if you're suicidal and you're looking for a quick way out. You're an outlander, aren't you? How can I explain that without going beyond the scope? Dalmeric. Does the name ring a bell? He was an Arcanist who lived about 2,000 years ago. Back then, the Order planned to build a second great city here in Enderal, situated in a region we now call Goldenforced. But, as it turned out, the place was everything but a good choice for a settlement. No crops would grow there, and the water made the settlers sick. So three years after the founding of the first settlement, Malath, the Order forced the settlers to abandon the mission and return to Ark. But, as things are with vain personalities, Dalmeric, who had been in charge of the mission, didn't like that idea at all. Malaf had been his dream, and so he wanted to hold on to it no matter what the price. One of his ways to do so was a device he called the Sun Wheel, an old Pyrian construction which was meant to make the barren lands fertile again. You can figure out the rest. I sure One can. night there was a bright flash of light, and since then Thalgard has been contaminated. Apart from a few animals and the Sunborn, savages whose brains have been rotted by the green fog there, it's deserted. In the first few centuries to follow, the fog spread as far as Golden Forest, but by now it's receded from there. So you sent this Patira to go recover the device on her own? Well, not exactly sent. It seems like she insisted on going on her own, but that's still dangerous. Yeah, I couldn't agree more. But as I said, she insisted. You know, she's of the lone wolfish type, if you get what I mean. Here, this is the place where Pathira said she would set up her camp. From here, she planned to go explore the nearby ruins. And please don't die, else I have no idea how to get horsed up and running. Oh, well, thank you for your concern. Apotheosis Part 1. Well, we'll go search her camp. We'll see if we can catch up with her. But it might be quite dangerous, that task. Let's explore the end of this district. Oh, I need to look out for that, um, that novice as well. Dalmer's estate. I'm not getting in there. I'm not climbing up here. Ooh. Come on. That's oh, not deep. Oh. Ten out of a hundred. Don't ask me no, how I know there's one hundred. Read the note. Interested in this house. Oh. Oh, now this is it. This is the house for me. It's so peaceful and out of the way. A stray barrel. This is this is definitely where I want to be. Oh, mark and return. Do I still have those tomes on me to learn? My right, clairvoyance, circle of protection, flash heal, life absorption, mark, turn, soul trap, telekinesis. Okay. Let us. Probably don't need to favorite mark is a spell. This looks like a, a decent spot. There's plenty of room. Okay, let's weave this. Do you really want to place a teleport rune here? Yes, I do. Oh. Can anybody else see that? I don't want people coming and tampering with it in any way. Let's return. I... Just for testing purposes. I know it's only a couple of meters, but let us... See how this goes. 
Oh, okay, it's the same premise as the scroll then. Oh. Oh, oh, that's cool. Okay, so I don't need to recast it every time. Right, we'll just leave that there then. But before we leave this spot... Just trying not to get too wet doing this. Oh, okay. An apple. I'll eat the apple, but that wasn't worth it. Let's try... There we are. Okay, only a couple of wet feet. Here. my sir. Take ten. Thank you. That's really generous. May his light guide you. And you. Open the old waterworks. Keep an eye out for me. I'm just gonna nip in here, see what's going on. Oh, I don't like what's going on in here. Oh. Oh, no. Oh. I wish that old geezer would have warned me. Give me that sugar bread. What have you got on you? Eight pennies. Arrow collection. Old steel arrows. Take that lock pick. Blueprint. Okay. We can sell that. Oh, this is the Undercity. I didn't realise it stretched so high up into the Noble Quarter. How he didn't see me, I don't know. But let's get Shell. Go on, Shell. Have him. Have him. Shell? You're no bucket, are you? Oh. Uh, don't run away. Get in there. What are you doing? You're a liability. Go on. Sick him. No? Oh, you're actually just blocking the way. You need to do real damage. It is. It is all he's got. Oh, shell. Are you going to finish him off? Are you going to get out of my way? I don't want to hurt you, but... You got him? Come on. Out the way. Just take a nap. Is that in? Oh, Bucket, how I miss you. This is... I feel disoriented. I thought I'd be coming out of the street. How far down did that ladder take me? That made me jump a little bit. Bit of brandy. I'll take those leaks. Golden house. We'll take it. Now that is a tome. Glimmer dust. Use and dangers. I already have a book on this. We'll take it. Stuff rounding. We can sell it. What else is the... What do they have? Nothing. Oh. Take that book on the path. King Lude and a maidservant, Devotia. 
Okay. Maybe that's their bedtime reading. The Amulet of Nimble Feet. Increased carrying capacity by 30 points. Interesting. There are certainly a lot of copies of these. The Bounty Chest. What are the copies of the Butcher of Ark about? Take that to sell. I could possibly use that in a pinch. Find steel boots to sell. No word. Alright, let's just finish losing this place and then get topside. 